say they're vibrating. Yeah, if you can lift people's vibration to 5D, the likelihood they won't be ill. So, right. so the higher the vibration people are, the less ill we are. Right. Yeah, and that's why I was asking because it, as things, uh, you know, as things are progressing, everything seems to be everything's affected, and everything's evolving, which is primarily our perception. I would say that take that back, our perspective, um, because I can I associate perception with um, illusion, or you know, and our perception is our reality, but our higher perspective is 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 takes everything in in the consideration. But as that as that enhances. Uh, we start to see things differently and these things start to to kind of blossom so if you take like uh, you know I know early on I was uh, you know I was directed to do this type of work healing type of work and it, it resonated with me Phil what you said because uh, in the in the you know couple of dozen instances that I had that I played that role um, it was always very important that they understood what what the root cause was be it uh you know uh, a trauma in this incarnation or something in a past life or something in an ancestral lineage it was quite amazing uh that that information would come out and i think uh maybe that's got to be some type of uh, uh catalyst for that code to open up within themselves uh, or to remove whatever was shrouding, you know, that that ability, because that's really what it is, is suppressed ability. Uh, yeah, this is quite fascinating. So now, um, are you now like in, in terms of what you're doing now, I know you're moving, you guys are what in Arizona? Is that where you're at? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Are, are you moving back to New England? Or where are you? No, going? We're, we're moving to Florida. <laughs> oh, okay. Now, happy oranges. <laughs> that's where we started <laughs> oh well there you go most of our um, kids and our, but, and our grandkids are okay so once you get settled the three of you are going to continue to do these three a month right yes okay and uh wow that's that's in incredible and now do you do you do everything together the three of y'all i mean or do you have yeah. your own uh, practices well, yeah, i mean on we the do side? a lot of private we do private sessions together yes um, but so, yeah, we we do some that are just the two of us, or um, Phil does private sessions with just him too. Okay. I mean, we do stuff on our own that where people just request him, or some, right. some just request us. There's been a lot of talk, obviously, about dark and light, good and evil, uh, all that stuff, masculine and feminine. <laughs> we don't know which one's evil and which one's good. I'm kidding. You know, don't don't get mad at me. <laughs> My wife's probably going to kill me. Uh, but no, seriously, there's been a lot of discussion about polarities, especially in this dualistic realm. Uh, and and we've watched that evolve over the years. And I think it's a great uh, thing to ponder with accomplished healers like yourselves, uh, just because somebody refers to something as a demon or an entity or whatever, uh, there are many... Uh, there's there's a more expansive expansive connotation to things now. Uh, there's more unification, more zero point perspective now. And I'm just curious with the three of you, each one of you, uh, what has been your journey with that with that understanding? Because uh, I I can you know again go back to my early days when I first woke up, and uh, I was you know sitting across from. A person who then shape shifted into a demon, blotchy face, bile skin, uh, exorcist voice, and you know I know all these things are very real, um, but I don't look at that encounter like I uh, then as I do today. And I'm just curious, not because anyone's right or wrong, but everybody's experience is very relevant, and I believe is what is uh, creating the new code that we're offering to the universe. As a result of all these incarnations on earth but what has been your evolution uh each one of you could speak to it just a little bit what has been your evolution and your understanding when working with let's just say antagonist energies uh possessive energies uh uh um what would you say like uh energies that have uh encroached upon someone's space even uh what is your relationship with them how has your perspective uh, uh, evolved uh, through your your healing practices? If you want to go first, Phil. 
Todd, do you mind me just giving you experience that we all had on an healing event? Absolutely. What you were saying before. Yeah. We we had a a woman who wanted to speak light language for, was it 20 years? She wanted to speak to it. And we clocked that she had a trauma in childhood. And when she we released the trauma, she started singing light language. And she told us the following week she'd been doing light language every day since. And that's... That, that, that just shows you that how you can create a blockage that mm. stops something spiritual. But I just wanted to share that because it was a beautiful experience to actually see someone who was really wanting to speak like language, couldn't. And once she was released on the live uh, event, she started on the live. speak on, on the, the live. live. On right. the live, yeah, See, that's a, I, that's a that's a great thing about this show too. Is when you when you actually witness transformation, yeah, you know. But, so but go, trying to release a trauma in a childhood on a live is a tricky, <laughs> tricky experience because you don't know what yeah, you're going to get. Yeah, that was beautiful. That was you remember that one? Yes, yeah. I do. <laughs> oh yeah, that that gave that we've gave had, me. We've had sources. we've had some really really dark ones. Yeah. Um, you know that. It yeah. took a lot. It took uh, like most of one session, if you remember. Yes, um, the day. The yeah. one day. And we see him week, months later, then they completely changed. It's yeah. changed him completely. Oh, totally different. He looked totally yeah. different. Yeah. Right. Um, but what, what my understanding of demons, dark beings, anything, if they affect humanity for no good, then I'm involved. I've got to sort it out. If they're here and they shouldn't be, I will try and get them, take it, take them back, basically where they come from. But if they affect it now, people have implants. My team goes into the implants, and we end up in some strange places. We end up on yes. spaceships. We end up on uh, different lands, uh, and end up being a bit of a battle. And uh, they affect. They be deliberately taking the energy off them. They deliberately making them have emotional stress it deliberately make them have pain and we need to get rid of that obviously if they've willed it in then we're in a very very different predicament because they've asked for this experience yeah right so right. and then- every every person has a different different method if they've got the demon and they're under 16 i still will say well hold on they're you're too young to even decide so I'm still involved. Yeah, and I'm, I've seen some really, really wild experiences. And yeah. I see it in remote viewing. And, and, then, and then many times close the portals that they can. Yeah. 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 I, I was on Orion once and I ended up, uh, when I went to the healing center, they, they actually saw five black, one of the healers said, you've got five black gooey spiders on you. I said, I haven't cleansed myself properly yet. <laughs> can you clear it for me? But uh yeah, I mean, I, I, I feel like that, you know, especially here on Earth, we're so universally seated. There's so many different, um, you know, I guess, uh, uh, compositions of uh, a soul. Hmm. Uh, there really is. I mean, there's so many different uh, lineages and such, and we all have different ways of describing it and experiencing it and the way we see it. Uh, you know, I've had my own journey over the years with dark and light, and uh, for the last seven years, you know, really haven't experienced. I've experienced dark entities in a big way, but I, I my process is very simple. I just open my heart, you know, uh, to them, and and uh, you know, and that's my that's my own way. I'm not advising that to anybody, uh, because ultimately, um, you know at least where I'm coming from is, is it's all about containing or, or owning it all. But at the same time, I realize that there are many different uh, stations in life, many, and, and none is better than the other. They're just different experiences. And I do feel that that's a very important topic right now because of the, the uh, external world and what's happening internally with so many people as things are coming up and our prejudices and biases are being challenged. I mean, uh, one of the things that I learned early on in working with the dark energy, I certainly had the power because I carried the warrior as well. And I've been in the trenches of hell many times and I understand that I was there and have chosen to go there to, to understand 
that which I will be opposing. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you got to become that which, uh, you know, which you're going to face. But um, one of the things I realized early on is I had the power to drive them out. Mm. But they would come back. And the reason they would come back is twofold. One is because the person, uh, as you said earlier, didn't have the level of belief. Uh, but another reason was, is because I carried the charge. Uh, and uh, so that I worked out, you know, that it, that it has to be brought into equilibrium. Uh, so I think these things are very important um, because, because things are changing so fast and because there's a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of in the external, which is a projection of our internal, there's a lot of uh, division and separate uh, separation uh, by things as silly as politics and religion and, you, you know, just what country you were born in and what side of the state were you born in and that type of thing. So I do think uh, these healing experiences, we'll call healing experiences, are so important uh, because they, they, they may not teach us in terms of uh, your typical uh, instruction this is use is what this is and this is what that is and this is how you do it but more of the energy that's produced in that moment are you noticing in your individual sessions and or in your sessions that you do publicly together are you seeing a a widening effect of the energetic experiences that you are part of are you seeing uh, it affecting other people in let's just say non-typical ways or ways that we wouldn't normally see, like just the patient. Are you hearing stories of the patient illuminating others? Are you in public and people are drawn to you? Are people coming to you in greater numbers? Are you noticing a difference in the type of people that are coming to you? I know that's well, a lot of questions. Yeah, right? Todd, what I've noticed, I've noticed in the last year or two, a lot more people are, are being attacked dark, with dark energies to quieten their energy because we're all growing we're all going bigger and they're they're being damped down and we're taking implants out of people to yeah to to, to make their make them keep their sovereign power if you know what i mean makes yeah. sense so yeah. in other words to keep them from to keep another another one to from waking up they're yeah turning on something that may have even been dormant yeah yeah uh to to quell them again yeah, yeah. Do you, well, well, do you do you feel sorry. like that, that I'm, I'm sorry I just do you feel like that uh, let me be careful uh there's uh Deb mentioned this year earlier we kind of we'll have to talk about this year a little bit but but I've noticed in 2023 especially since March as things have really started to get hot and heavy especially June and July and now we're into August I've noticed a lot of projection in the light worker community I've noticed a lot of finger pointing, their false light, and, and this bullshit and that, you know, and and I look at it and 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 try to to bear witness and not and go into judgment or carry a charge. But do you feel like that there's an uptick in what you're describing in terms of these implants being either turned on or turned up to not only uh, suppress someone who's just waking up? but someone who is leveling up that's been awake, do you feel like that there's an uptick in that? I've seen a lot more triggering. People get triggered. And for everyone, if you get triggered, you're the problem. Not them. That's something you need to release. Yeah. Yes. I've seen a lot more of that. Thank you. For, for nothing. That. Over nothing sometimes. Thank you for that. Yeah. <laughs> there is. Yeah. And, yeah. I, and I even got triggered. <laughs> <laughs> a few weeks ago and phil said you're if you're triggered you gotta look at you and he's and i said oh, he's right it's true <laughs> it's a hard pill to swallow i had to step back and and i was triggered i was something that somebody said really bothered me and i didn't and i had to look at myself so i mean it happens to everyone everyone i, I get triggered and i think you're my trigger <laughs> You're here. you're here to trigger me. <laughs> you're my trigger finger, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I, I went to uh, five days with my family, my his large Hispanic family, a, a funeral this uh, past weekend. And there, and I like a lot of light workers. I've been estranged from my family for a long time, and so it was like walking into a hornet's nest. 
Mm. But you know that old Ram Dass saying, if you think you're awakened or enlightened, go spend some time with your family, right? But <laughs> I I, but I, hard. yeah, I had the same thing happen. I was very, my soul was very much on point, said, hey, you got to go to this. You know, there's no two ways about it. My human's like, no, nah, I don't want to go, but no, you're going. And uh, you know how it is. They don't give you the information until you're actually there. They don't like give you, you know, you have to respond like in a spontaneous manner. But, but I did too. I, I, I was triggered. Uh, for and for about five minutes and uh, by my chief antagonist uh, with an audience and I just I walked outside I took a few breaths and and luckily that was the only time during the whole five days so I can I can relate and and I really admire too I've noticed this since like September or October last year doing the show that that the people the mirrors that are coming on the show the people that are coming on the show the souls uh, they've had, they've been walking in the door with a greater level of humanity and humility, like they're owning that they're human enough to get triggered, or they're owning that they get pissed off sometimes, or they own, you know what I mean? And it's really refreshing because, well, yeah, I think the gifts and the connections and the past lives and the abilities kind of took the front seat as we, you know, 2012 and, and as we got into this, but I think, uh, in the last you know year to two years the human is the hero right the human has risen uh, to be counted in equal measure at that round table of spirituality so it's really refreshing to meet three people with such uh, tremendous gifts and track record that are still saying hey i get triggered and can laugh about it too you yeah. know so the best way if you do get triggered just take your shoes and socks off and walk in the soil yeah just lay it ground away yeah yeah ground it are you, uh, you're, I keep getting this messages that you're um, an angel. An angel? Did anybody ever tell you you're an angelic? Yeah, but they also told me I was a devil. <laughs> no, but you're not the so, devil. Same thing. Archangel, <laughs> Archangel Gabriel, you're, you're an aspect of Gabriel. I, you know, I, I don't, uh, I've never, I mean, I've had obviously a lot of encounters, many, many encounters. Well, Archangel. this is not an encounter. This is you. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I can speak with, I can speak to my aspects of Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, uh, Uriel. I can speak to a lot of different, uh, so I really don't know. I don't, I'm, I'm not saying yes. I'm not saying no. I mean, I would say yes, but I would say that it's, that, that I, I really uh, connect to everything. I don't find I don't find uh, any one one in particular. Although I have had certain emissaries that brought me to the party, like a lot of people do. But uh, yeah, at the end of it, we are all one. Uh, yeah, I, I mean yeah. the archangels. The archangels uh, were well. Put it this way: when I reawoke, they sent Gabriel, they sent Raphael. Neither one of them could get me to wake up, and then Michael came in. And, uh, but they and sent the big guns in. <laughs> they sent him in. Yeah, they literally they, they shattered a, a big glass in front of me. He shattered a big glass in front of me and <laughs> scattered glass all over me. He said, uh, "Are you listening now?" <laughs> I'm like, "Yes, I am. I, I serve two bags full." But no, I you know I, um, you know, and it's another interesting thing too is is um, the uh, you know talking to so many people over the years. And, and the uh, connection that people bring forth, uh, not only the coding that it offers, but the memories, uh, you know, and the revelations that come with it. Like, for instance, I, I've never had any type of, uh, uh, you know, affinity for or, or really resonance for Metatron. And I, I have no idea why that is. Uh, Michael Gabriel, the other ones I can speak of, other consciousness I can speak of, but uh, so I, I try not to get too lost in all that. But I, well, I would say it's that, something that these are messages that yeah. I get when yeah. when it scans you. That's yeah. part of what we do. We tell you past lives and, and who you are. Um, now, and, do y'all do that as a group? Oh, yeah. that's what Rick and I have always done. That's the information that I get. Okay. Yeah, I, I get it as well. And and he does too for past <laughs> lives and everything. It's just something that information that comes at me. <laughs> yeah, if you're hearing someone, I'm getting that, the information as you're talking, yeah. and it's telling me straight out that you are an angelic. 
That's yeah. something you'll go back yeah. to after you're done here, that you are an angel. You came here. Yeah. You, you asked to come here. You asked yeah. as an angelic. You're going to go back to being an angelic. Yeah. You are. What happens, Tanya, if you're healing someone 10 or 15 minutes, we get different messages. We get different because it's not enough to do the full job. So we're doing bits of it. We find yeah. different aspects, different this, lives. Yeah. And we've been sitting here talking and I'm starting to get all these messages. That yeah. Keep going with it. <laughs> whatever whatever you want to do. I, I'm Todd, I'm an earth angel and they, you get signs for anyone who's an earth angel. You get like healers that said, I could see wings coming out of your back or yeah. you've got see, silver <laughs> energy coming out of you. And it's different healing centers. Yeah. And they're, yeah. they're you're, the signs. You're on the Gabriel is your, there's Gabriel. Mm. Get, Gabriel calls me the clown. <laughs> as you are i know <laughs> and i've always been a clown he says so there you go he's he he jokes around a lot he's the clown there's that's good who's who yes yeah. he's I a am. comedian phil I'm or a comedian Gabriel. oh phil oh yeah. yeah i i'm i'm the same way i i, I uh you know i know my well, soul my soul's very much to a, a jokester well, all the i have vibrational beings are have yeah. a, we have a laugh. Merlin. Merlin is a good example of that. He's, that's, that's Phil. That, that's one of my aspects. That's one of yeah. his aspects. Well, that's, that's uh, I, I've got a close relationship with Merlin. Big, big time. My, he my can be is. confusing sometimes. He can be. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he plays a real prominent role. He's mm. even appeared to us uh, translucently uh, through a ceremony and then it was so interesting. I didn't know who he was. My human was like, who the F is that? <laughs> the same as St. Germain. Yeah. And then he Merlin. just walked in. The same. He They're walked right, the same. right through the wall. He walked, yeah. He walked. They, they, all, they got the magic spark from the magic planet. And that's why St. Germain was like a sorcerer, even though yeah. people don't realize that. Yeah. Uh, Merlin, well, even Moses' staff was sorcerer. And he right. created a funnel. Yeah. He didn't create a party. I, you know, so that's. They, yeah, we could spend hours on on so many different subjects. Uh, okay. I uh, I saw this something I never seen yesterday in a session, and it was a symbol, and it seemed to, and it was a masculine symbol, a symbol of the father, and it looked like a trident. You know what a trident is? Mm. Like, yes. Okay, and it has the 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 U. Uh, I'm sorry, it has a U like that, right? It has a prompt. Yeah. Well, this was turned upside down the trident you was not you know it was turned the other way like if you had a spear it would be the you would be like this one right and it had a scepter on it uh that i that i'd seen before but as, as a standalone and i don't know why i'm even bringing this up other than i'm with three highly high frequency beings here <laughs> we seem to be having another conversation up here but is there is there a lot of people have talked about what's happening this year as we move into next year, that this year is definitely different than it's ever been before. We're stepping into a new world uh, and we're kind of working the bugs out this year. There's been a lot of talk about the, the feminine over the years, the mother goddess and that type of thing. In your mind, and there's no right or wrong answer, is there a strong masculine rising now in your mind, like through your work? And, and are you noticing anything like that? I hope that? so. Yeah. I hope so, because um, they're trying to feminize the men. So I'm hoping that there is a strong masculine rising. Yeah. Scene. Yeah. I think that means the warriors got to step up. So, hmm. yeah, I was going to say as well, uh, Ivan Teller said this, that the reason why I'm good with shamanic work is my soul's got dark energy. So I'm invisible to them. I'm invisible. Yeah. But I do. Uh, I also do a lot of work with David Starr, healing the earth, raising the vibration. And yeah. I've noticed the earth has got like a like a tilt, a spiritual tilt. It's tilting to the light at last. Right. Because obviously the earth has been very, very low for a long, long time. And I think it's just tilting back to its original format. So I think everyone who's working, remember, healing earth, lifting the vibration, using higher chakras, bringing it down, is what's needed that's what's needed uh, as much because once you lift the vibration of the water and the soil and the all the energy then people more people are waking up 
and it's just a big cycle and we get back to its original blueprint. I, my belief is uh, new earth is old earth. It's the original right. blueprint of earth. Right. Yeah, right. that's my belief. In. And that's why um, we're here. That's why we're here, basically. I agree. I totally agree with this. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Like the the uh, the world stage is just taking on a, a, like a ridiculous type of, uh, you know, like a false flag, you know, the, the way the false flags have kind of diminished or in terms of their influence and their the hold that they have on people. Um, yeah, I was going to ask y'all something. I can't, I can't remember now. Oh, yeah. I, so I also look at the three of you. We're talking about the composition of our soul signatures, I guess, in a way, our souls. I pick up a lot of elemental with y'all as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So I just... I just wanted to oh, confirm. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. My my, my, uh, my holidays on the light side of the underworld. I love that. And that's all the element <laughs> elemental. Uh, the light side yeah. of the underworld. Well, the Mother light Mary, side. Mother Mary, Mother Mary once told me you 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 are from the wildest part of the universe, but there is the wild goodness. You you are the wild goodness of the universe, but you are you are the extreme. Yeah. So yeah, I think uh, you definitely definitely have to have uh you know like a, a a broad representation of the light you know there's all different types of specialties and, and knowings and not everybody wants to go into the pits of hell mm. you know i mean um i'm i'm used to getting you know hooks in my eyeballs and being dragged across the floor you know but but again to have the the uh, uh you know the 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 understanding of what we're doing right uh as we've gone through all these things now like where do you see your your healing um you know your healing program going from here do you feel like it's going to continue to kind of be the same do you think there's going to be a lot of people on the earth that are going to need this type of thing that are not currently in let's say light worker circles uh, or do you feel like it'll be changing um to serve those that you may have already served but at a higher and a different level we uh, we are taught uh so as it changes we are taught new ways mm. of doing this so um and they bring us what who needs the most important healing done so whoever comes to us with something new so we're taught then so what, always, what needs to be done we're, I, I channel it it's always right. changing. it's always changing it is right. always changing so they they bring them to us and uh, we have rick and i have 12 ancestors with us at all times they're all indigenous ancestors so right. they're native american they're mayan and uh, they also bring down the energies so they're they're here with us and i have two native american guides that are are helping and i have a Oversoul, who is Cochise uh, uh -huh. chief, so he's showed up recently. Far <laughs> so, out. <laughs> that was in Sedona. That was in Sedona, yeah. actually. Yes. When you were he, speaking I was like speaking light language in between all of the rocks, the big cathedral rock and bell rock, and oh yeah, yeah, that language. little strip, that little valley coming up from BOC. Yes. That it's amazing. I've been, I've been there 11 times. I was there about six months last year. But uh, the first time I went, I was coming from VOC. I'd stayed the night in VOC. And uh, my friend said, take my car. And I was going to go meet Ty for the first time and uh, at his studio. And as I was going through that very place you're talking about, I just started belting out uh, ancient song. You know, it was, it was quite amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Sedona's a... I'm taking my mother, 84 years old, who's traveled the world, never been to Sedona. Uh, I'm taking her for two weeks in September. We're taking Phil next year. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right on, right on. Yeah. When you come in, when you come to the states, Phil, next year. I'm going to try. Yeah, you're going to. <laughs> I think you got me on that one. Uh, well, you might as well. You might as well, drink, you might as well come in December and come to the Sology Fest in Houston, December mm. 8th, 9th, and 10th. Oh, well, he go. can come anytime he wants. He always has a place to stay. So there you go. I, I was going to say, Todd, for what's happened in the last three years, which I'm not going into the political, it's made healing the future. 
it has pushed it even more than I could ever imagine. So yeah. the more the more we get damped down, the more we grow. Yeah. So, well, anyone who's who anyone who and, and nothing against anyone that hasn't, but anyone who has been to the pits of hell, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we can only we can only uh, illuminate uh, in equal degree to the level that we've visited the other end of the spectrum. It only makes sense. That's what we do. Yes, yeah. with both so, sides. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it's uh, it's a uh, it's, it's going to be an interesting ride here as we get into or the end of this, the rest of this year and, and into next year. I, I'm very interested in uh, collaborating, uh, you know, with each of you. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd love to explore the ideas of of having you back on together. Yeah. Uh, I like to look at things in a creative way. Uh, you know, when you don't have a box, it's kind of hard to step out of the box, but if you've been out of the box and in, you know, you can kind of find yourself in a box. So I'm always looking for creative ideas and we're really expanding the network now. It's not about me. It's about, you know, our, our motto is built for the community, built by the community. So I was given um, uh, what I call 5D commerce template, template by the Arcturians in 2018. I started downloading this stuff in 2012, uh, but specific to what's happening now with the network, where one third of everything that comes in goes to the content creators based on a percentage of their engagement, of their viewership, and everything's transparent. So this is kind of what we're moving towards. Uh, so I would like to explore that. Certainly to have Phil on, you know, individually, have the two of you on individually uh, and together, um, and then even explore uh, some collaboration to support what you're doing and to expand awareness of what you're doing you know, like that you're doing on YouTube, but maybe do something uh, that we produce for you here, not to interfere with anything that you're doing, but simply to uh, expand the awareness of what you're doing, and then ultimately to build a bigger coalition so that we can get to the point where we can start to share this abundance, uh, because we know that that's part of what's coming for all these light workers as we clear these <laughs> poverty programs and worthiness programs and and you you all would know that being Is healers that, yeah spiritual dollars i call them yeah yeah exactly <laughs> yeah yeah it was quite the leap for us you know we we always worked off of contributions and um uh, never never charged even for gatherings you just donate what you want and uh other than the Sology fest because you can't really do a festival you know, <laughs> without knowing what's coming. Yeah, we were in. doing free, the free yeah. healing events every month and uh, and just said, please don't yeah. donate if you can. And it got to be too much. So now we're yeah. looking at maybe doing a donation base yeah. events. I don't know. Um, well, so yeah, I mean, let, let, maybe we can put our heads together. I wish I had more time today. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the way the schedule is just, kind of panned out let me just double check and make sure i'm not uh, how, how long have we got <laughs> well we got it we got a little bit more is there something you want to do uh well uh, uh, i want i want to say that like me and david star we we did an event last year we never broadcast it but we took down an implant factory in 4d that was connected to the light grid so everyone was getting implants last year mm. and things like that people don't know about them mm. the other yeah. thing i wanted to say is uh something i got from atlantis a grounding and healing technique. Shall, shall I tell, say it? Yeah. Where you visualize a halo above your head. Yeah. And it goes down to, to the feet slowly and it's sending Gabriel's white light into you and it changes depending what you, what you get. If you get red, it means that you got implants or something in your field. But it's a way of grounding yourself using a tool, basically. And that's what came from Atlantis. That was like a mobile tool. And wow. I've been using that for decades and decades. Wow. We, all try it. we all have that halo above us. Yeah. You just bring it down. Yeah. You bring it down and it can heal, get rid of emotions if it's yellow, and it changes color depending on what you need. But uh, it's a great tool after healing because mm. if you heal in a row, heal one person and the other and the other, you can transfer stuff over. That's a good way of doing it. 
All right. The other thing, the other thing I wanted to say, the reason why I went to the underworld once, I had an energy vampire on me, and my guardian, the dark dragon, took me to the underworld to get a blessing off the goddess of earth next to the tree of knowledge. I just wanted to say that, which was, which yeah, was I, wow. I'm, I'm, you're wild. speaking my language. I love, I love the dragons. The dragons have been real, yeah. real good. In fact, I got a visit from uh, Merlin and six dragons about two weeks ago. And the strange thing about it was that the dragons themselves were solid. Mm. Like, you know, I reached over and I could touch them like you would a <laughs> like you would a dog sitting next to you. You know what I mean? Uh, and then the comments you made about the the goddess of of the of the earth or whatever you said. Uh, yeah, I, it just brought to mind and there's no coincidence is a, a, a meeting I had in the inner earth with uh on the surface what looked to be like a decrepit uh witchy looking but it she was the she was the goddess you know it was, <laughs> it was quite the and there were some couple of dragons guarding the entrance i remember that were they gold so, gold were dragons they, were gold the dragons, dragons. Were the yeah dragons? i've seen the gold dragons guarding I, the entrance of the i world. think yeah if 